Welcome to another video. Uh, this time I have uh, seven releases that uh, span from 89 up to 2018. So there are no 2020 releases in this video. Here we go. And we will start up with some cassettes. This is uh, Reprogram. Repurgation by Outre Tombe, uh, French, uh, French Canadian, uh, they're from Quebec City, a mm -hmm. uh, death metal band who was formed in 2010. And uh, this is their uh, debut full length. It was released in 2015 through HSP Records uh, Productions, I meant. And uh, this is uh, contains 10 tracks 33 minutes long it's brim filled with cool riffing in the and sounds like old school european death metal so if you like pestilence and dismember and stuff this is uh, very good highly recommended uh, all tracks uh, they, they sing in uh, in french so I uh, I don't know, <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, very good. And my version is a 2020 Time Worn uh, reissue. It's a red shell and a J card folds out. There are no lyrics, and everything is in French. But uh, it's very good riffing, the production is awesome, uh, very good, highly highly recommended if you have not checked this one out yet. And here we have Necrovortex, Necrovortex by Autretomb. Uh, this is their sophomore release. It was released back in 2018 through Temple of Mystery uh, recordings or productions. And uh, this is their latest full length. Uh, and this one pretty much takes, it's a continuation of the First full length uh, contains 10 tracks once again. Uh, sorry, uh, this is slightly longer. The production is uh, the production on this one is it's different. It's not bad at all, but I slightly prefer the production on the debut full length. And this uh, is also a time worn 2020 repress. It's a purple shell and the J card looks like this. No lyrics, everything is in French once again. Uh, I would start with the debut and then this one, but it's either way. Uh, Marty Worm actually showed the, this particular release. Uh, uh, in a video a couple of months ago and he's uh, better to at describing how it sounds than me so check out his channel and check out this band picked up this one because I read that uh, this is uh, the be all and all Megadeth record so and I, I saw it saw it on a buy and sell page and bought it for a pretty decent price so I, I thought maybe this one this time it 
it will stick with me. I had heard it before, of course, but uh, I have never really sat down and read through lyrics and kind of trying to absorb the thing. Uh, but now I have tried that ten times, and while it's it's good, it's not uh, it's not great. Uh, there are no really uh, standout tracks, I think. Uh, everything is pretty good. When the, there are uh, lots of cool riffing, but I can't stave Mustaine's vocals. But one thing, uh, David Ellefson's his bass playing is very good. It can, you can clearly hear it in the mixing. And that's very cool. But uh, if you take a track like Hangar 18, I think it sounds a little bit like Motley Crue, a more technical version of Motley Crue. Uh, Motley Crue is not bad, it's uh, Shout of the Devil is a very good record, but that's not what I want when uh, I, I'm expecting a thrash metal. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Uh, and this... Uh, I don't get got any uh, lyric sheet. Uh, the record is just on black vinyl, but this is not at all qualified for my top 10 or even tw top 20 uh, thrash uh, album uh, releases. Best <laughs> to thrash, thrash, thrash metal releases uh, ever. No, no, no. However, this one is. This is Beneath the Remains by Sepultura. It was released back in 89 through Road Racer and Road Runner. And I, have, I had uh, everything from Sepultura, from Morbid Visions up to Chaos AD on CD. But I think I have maybe sold them or just lost them. I don't own them anymore. But and I've been looking for this for a pretty long time. But uh, people are delusional. They think someone is v willing to pay uh, fifty dollars for a repress. That's uh, uh, the latest repress <laughs> for a record that's uh, have been repressed thirty times. No, sir. So I waited and waited. And in April this year, Roadrunner and Road Racer did a re-release once again and uh, this is a double disc so uh, on the other uh, LP you have uh, uh, some uh, instrumental versions and some live tracks and other things that's not so interesting but uh, this one is uh, absolutely in my top 10 thrash metal albums of the year uh, of the year of the and of all time and uh, you get a it's a gatefold and you get some you get lyrics and you also get a uh, uh, Scott Burns has some liner notes and stuff and uh, everything on this record is great from the opening uh, acoustic part of Beneath the Remains to the last shouting of Primitive Future. Uh, everything is great, but everyone is already know this, but I just wanted to show that I have a copy. And while I, uh, I bought, I pre-ordered the Sepultura uh, Beneath the Remains, I thought about buying a rise but uh, did not do that but a week later i saw someone posting and that they wanted to sell a copy and it was for maybe one third of the uh, price and that was because this little thing it was still sealed so uh, that that I, I picked that one up and this is a 2018 reissue uh, by uh, roadrunner and Road Racer and Arise is also a great record unfortunately 
the is side A is it's very good. Side B is good. It's not as good as the A side. That's why I prefer uh, Beneath the Remains because as a whole album, it, it has no weak spots. Uh, it's all, all great. This is, has no really weak spots. It's just that uh, Beneath the Remains is more consistent. And uh, this version is uh, also a double disc, double LP. And you have uh, some uh, live tracks. Um, remixes, uh, alternate uh, versions, and uh, a cover of Orgasmatron. But uh, very good stuff. Arise. It's a gatefold. You have uh, uh, lyrics, and yeah, you have lyrics. Great stuff. And now for something completely different. This is Baritat, et eventyr i fem kapitler by Ulver. And uh, this was released uh, all the way back in 95 and is uh, considered a black metal classic. I, I actually heard it for the first time maybe five years ago. And I thought it was good, but kind of forgot about it. But then I watched a uh, one of Maze of Torment's videos. I'll leave a link to his channel where he showed this one. And uh, maybe two or three weeks afterwards, I I found it. I, I didn't look for it. It just popped up in a ad, and I thought that one I will pick up. And uh, this one is great. Uh, it contains five tracks, and it's uh, uh, the it's uh, very good. There are Scandinavian folk music mixed with black metal. Maybe twenty-five percent is uh, uh, Swedish, uh, not Swedish, Scandinavian. Nor the band is from Norway. Uh, and it's very good and you can clearly hear the newer bands like Wolves in the Throne Room and stuff when you listen to this one where they got their inspiration from. So that's uh, neat and uh, uh, all five tracks is very good. The, I don't know where is the track listing. Uh, the En Stemme Locker is an all folk folk music piece and uh, my I think you know, something that's really cool is that uh, in the the lyrics they, I am from Sweden so I I can understand I can read Norwegian and Danish lyrics but the, there seem to be something off and it turns out that they're <laughs> and they're written in old Danish but I still understand most of it. But uh, one thing that's really cool, it's uh, five, five uh, uh, chapters in a story. And uh, in the first track, I Trollskog Faren Wild. Uh, she's, she sing, they sing, there's a, a lady who says, no one thinks about me tonight. And then the last thing they think, sing in Solen Gar Bog Olsened. And that the last thing they think sing in that is now everyone thinks of you. That's kind of cool. But uh, anyway, this is a 2016 Century Media Repress. And uh, it's a gatefold. Very nice artwork. You also get a uh, inner uh, sheet with with the translation and an interview with uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Christopher Rigg. 
uh, so it's very a very good uh, reissue and the, the record is on plain black vinyl so if you like Wolves in the Throne Room and stuff and like me hadn't really paid attention to Ulver uh, Barry Tut uh, check uh, check this one out because uh, it's uh, really really good Ulver went on to went on to do a f full folk uh, album afterwards and then a raw black metal and now they do electronic stuff and so they are <laughs> pretty far from a black metal band but uh, this one is great thank you for watching have a nice day